All right, we need to put in a 240 volt outlet here. It's uh, for a deep fryer. Here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps for most branch circuits. But for lighting, most generally they'll use a lighter gauge wire, which is 14 American wire gauge. However, you're allowed to put outlets on it, but not appliance outlets or outlets in the kitchen. But you can use the 14 for like your bedroom and your living room. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 240 volt circuit, such as this one here. And I'll show you what to do to make sure people know that that black wire is live and the white wire is also live. So we'll strip our wire. Just check here, make sure I didn't damage my insulation, and I did not damage the insulation here, so we'll get our wires ready to hook up here. We have a little bit of Romex inside this conduit it's only like four feet and it goes above the ceiling and it changes it goes over to the uh, panel box so we've got our tail one to go to the outlet and one to go to our box here Back up into our attic here. So we do have to uh, bond the box with a green screw, but our head is all messed up. This is the uh, bonding screw to bond the ground wire to the box. So we put it in the back of our box here. We'll take our tail wires here, one, two, I'm gonna put the uh, longer one on the box. So I'm going to make a loop the direction our screw turns. Put it in the back of our box here. Close our loop the direction our screw turns like that. Close our loop nice and tight here. So we're going to use a uh, push-in connector. It's one of these guys here. So I'm going to push my tail in like this. Look at it. Make sure the copper comes to the top. We'll put our other two wires in here. Like that. Make sure our copper comes to the top. We'll put our tail to the box. And I'll make sure our copper comes to the top here so we can push this back into our box here like this. Get all back out of the way like that. Now what we're going to do with this white wire, we're going to clip our wires a little shorter here. We 
we'll take off about an inch to put around our device. And what we're going to do is we're going to remark that white wire with some black tape to let people know it's live. You can either use black, red, or blue. So we'll take a piece of black tape. And we will wrap it around this white wire just to mark it so people know that it is live. Okay, so we have our white wire marked as live. Okay, so on our device, you'll see brass terminal on this side, brass terminal on this side, no silver terminal because it's a 220, 240 volt, and you'll see the green ground terminal. So it doesn't matter which terminal the black and white go to. So we will take, we'll put our, uh, you make your loop the direction your screw turns. You get the wire around your screw. Close the loop, the direction the screw turns like this. Make sure it's good and tight. And then we'll flip it around this way. We'll fold our wires in like an accordion. Just put your wire around the screw the direction that the screw turns. Make it go like an accordion here. We'll go up a little bit and then down. Again with this one here, we'll go up a little bit and down. Now we'll put our ground wire on our green screw here. Close it the direction our screw turns. Now we'll keep our ground wire at the bottom here as we push this into our box. Keep push it down so it stays down at the bottom. Now make sure our screws not hit the wires here. Look at the bottom, make sure our screws aren't hit the wires. Push this ground wire down so it stays away from everything here. And now we're ready to go turn our circuit breaker on. Okay, this is our uh, double pole 20 amp breaker here. So we will just turn it on like this. And we'll go check it with our meter and make sure we have 240 volts. Alrighty, this is our uh, cobalt digital 
multimeter here. We'll put it on uh, six hundred volts because the next one down is only two hundred volts, and this is a uh, two hundred and forty. So I'll show you our readings and see what we get. So I will uh, go between line one and line two. It says two hundred and forty-one volts. Now we'll go between our uh, New or ground since there's no neutral. One line gives us 121 volts. This line gives us 121. So that is how to wire and uh, confirm you have 220, 240 volts here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching.